Next Hawk episode commencing presently. Let's go, Hawk! Okay, coming from a start here, let's uh, run through the gears and again, uh, Hawk feels a little bit like uh, it's struggling with its fuel air mixture. When I lay into the throttle hard, it kind of backs off. But uh, we can do some rev testing when we're uh, safely ensconced at the uh, Hawk Primary Research Lab and uh, Expo Center. So we'll do that. Little uh, tiny cemetery there. So kind of taking, uh, just taking it easy here tonight again with the uh, fuel richness problems or whatever we're having, the fuel air mixture issues. We're just taking it really mild here on the way home, which is okay. And again, if I hadn't gone on the highway there, maybe I would have never even known there was an issue because I so seldom rev it up like that. It's as if the problem kind of cropped up when I did that. That's kind of what it sounded like. Uh, before that, that hadn't been uh, an issue at all. And then I revved it a little bit. I got up to about 55. And it started uh, giving me a little bit of resistance. I've got some uh, new gear again today, and uh, again, nothing special, except uh, I went to the second-hand store today, which I just love going to those places. It's always fun to get a great deal. And I went to one last Saturday, and I got a pair of uh, military-spec uh, warm-weather combat boots. I think they're Bates brand. And today I got uh, these military uh, desert camo uh, pants. Brand new, had never been worn before. They were just in perfect condition and they were only like uh, $8. And I thought, hey, these things fit me and I just bought the boots and I can sit down on one of these gravel roads and you won't even be able to tell that I was sitting down in the dirt because they're basically the same color as the soil that I'm normally driving on. So I thought between the uh, warm weather combat boots in the desert sand uh, motif, and then I've got the pants now, and I also have this camouflaged helmet, as you've uh, seen uh, previously. So I thought well, this makes perfect sense. Uh, I just have the traditional black, you know, motorcycle jacket that uh, also was kind of a bargain. I bought it brand new years ago for like $40. And it's not made of the best material or anything, but it's got nice heavy zips on it. And, um, you know, if I do have to uh, lay down the hulk and uh, go sliding around, uh, the idea of being uh, in a leather suit or a leather uh, coat, even if it's not soft leather, maybe it's roughness and uh, thickness and so forth would uh, pay some dividends if you're tumbling down a dirt road or it's skittering down the pavement. So, uh, I live just over that hill you can see in front of you. We did a big loop tonight. We started out here by taking a left and going down to the gas station, except I was taking a right, of course, coming from the other direction. And I'm downshifting the Hawk and it's uh, behaving nicely. And I'll do a, uh, well, you know what, I'm not going to do a halfway. I thought I'll go halfway into the median, but then why have one extra interaction with a car had he been turning here or anything like that? 
Uh, I really try to keep my car hawk interactions to a, a minimum. Yeah, and you can hear that. I'm fairly close to home here, so I feel fairly confident if it conks out, I don't have too far to go. But yeah, the Hulk is not liking uh, hard throttle here. And we'll see if I can get up in the gear I'm in. I might have to put it in a lower gear because it is, uh, to give it the requisite gas to get up this hill in that high of a gear, I think the Hulk may be working harder than it, or maybe kind of wheezing here. So I'm just limping, just kind of limping at home. But again, as you probably can hear, the motor sounds fine. But when you give it the throttle hard, it doesn't just wind out. It, it, it kind of sputters and coughs once you get uh, past half throttle. I'm sure there's an answer for us in the Hawk Lab. We will find that. And now I can jump up a gear. That shift didn't sound all that uh, elegant either, I'm uh, afraid to report. I don't know that that's a problem, but maybe a good time to uh, check the oil levels and give it uh, a general look over back in the old lab.